Hello YouTube world, hope you're all doing alright. Before we hop into this anime review, I want to say a few quick things. Firstly, I have a microphone. It's awesome. I'm super excited about it. Secondly, I've got a camera. Also super exciting. Uh, and thirdly, I'm still sick. Ever since the Violet Evergarden review, I've been sick and I'm still sick. It's ridiculous, but regardless, we're going to hop right into it. For the sick little me, please like the video and also subscribe so you don't miss out on future content. Now, let's jump right in. The anime fairy tale is set in an earth-like world where magic is used throughout the lands for all sorts of daily tasks and actions. Because of its commonality, guilds form in large cities and take it upon themselves to resolve people's issues for a fair price. The anime is then centered around the guild fairy tale. More specifically, the entire story revolves around the leading characters, Lucy and Natsu. There are m other characters, so, so many, but they are the leads. As for the leading plots, there are too many to really discuss, but it mainly focuses on the survival of the guild in a hostile world. Our first category, Sexual Cleanliness, is going to outright crash this anime score. But oh well, to cut to the chase, this anime is far from being clean in a sexual way. Too many, and I mean far too many, characters have sexual designs and show just way too much. You know, as such, to give anything less than a 10 would just be crazy. Um, and to be honest, this next category is pretty similar. When it comes to language, which there is a lot of, and violence, the anime is not clean. Half of the watch time is just people beating each other up into pulps, while another good chunk is people cursing one another. Like, like why? What, why? The only good side is that when it comes to blood and like gore, there isn't really that much, although this also is really weird, like, somebody will get stabbed in the chest and then they'll walk away with a minor bruise. It doesn't even make sense. Due to these factors, a 6.5 seems fair. Fair. Get it. Fairy tale. Get it. Moving away from my bad puns, let's move into aesthetics. For graphics, this anime actually scores really good. It had a more classical anime feel and was actually rather appealing. Music, on the other hand, ugh. Don't, don't, don't get me wrong, the music itself is fine, but let me ask you something. If you were making a TV show that was, a, I don't know, let's just say 277 episodes long, would you use the same music over and over? And over, and over, and over, and over again. <sighs> Can't believe I watched 100 of these. What a waste of freaking time. Let's, let's just keep moving, and we'll just slap a 6.5 for music, and a 9 for graphics. So far, Fairy Tale has not done well. And that won't really change with this next category. Now please remember that Novaka Studios is a Christian channel and that these reviews are titled CRA, a Christian Reviews Anime. Because of this, the reference category is pretty important. And let's just say that Fairy Tale has a total dismissal of God by making its own gods, and by claiming the very common theme of this age that you too can become your own god. Due to this, I, I can't help but give it a brutal one. We're down to the last category, meaning. As previously stated, one of the leading messages is that you too can become your own god. But the way it approaches this is a little different than most media would. It focuses on the truth, 
that relationship, love, and trust is what bonds and makes us stronger. This is actually a good meaning, and one that the Bible certainly condones. We need companionship, that's why the two greatest commandments are what they are. Unfortunately, however, this message, just like with Violet Evergarden, is pretty blunt, and it's surface level. As such, a three seems right, as the you too can become your own god is so prevalent and absolutely ludicrous. Thank you to all the people who have watched so far, and get ready for the final score. A solid 38.3. That is low, but I would actually agree. More so, it's time for my opinion. Honestly, this anime is just terrible. Uh, the music is repetitive, it, it drives me insane. Um, the the sexuality and violence is ridiculous, and the you too can become your own god message is something that I passionately, passionately hate. With this considered, out of the 10 points I can give or take, I, without question, subtract 9 of them, giving Fairy Tale a solid 29.3%. That, my friends, is what. Thank you for watching, uh, please check out Novaka Studios 2 if you haven't already, and note that the next anime we will be reviewing is... Angel Beats.